uh, I decided to make a video. Last time I looked, it's been 23 hours since I made a video. I'd like to make a video every day if I can. Some people on BookTube are able to do that. Uh, not saying that my videos are always that interesting or provocative or kind of insightful into the world of books, but I look at my videos as a way that I can share with the world outside myself my the books that I like and the books that I collect. I don't, as I've said many times, I don't read all the books that I collect. Uh, I just like having books. Uh, so I try to find the, what I think is the best books as far as literary value. Now everybody has their own taste as far as literature. Uh, I don't like romances, I don't read science fiction, I don't read fantasy, I don't read crime, I don't read science books, I don't read all kinds of things. I like biographies, I like uh, history, I like poetry, art history, I like good novels. Uh, I like writers who have proven themselves over the years by writing not just one novel but many novels, not only novels but these writers have have written nonfiction, they've written essays, criticism, plays, uh, they've written novels, uh, and they've written over a long period of time and have proven themselves. But I have recently started buying used novels by uh, the first novels of this writer, if, I, if they look interesting. Now today, uh, I went to a thrift store, well, I went to local thrift stores. Just around our house are three thrift stores that I visit. Uh, some thrift stores are north of, north of town. They take a little bit longer to get to, but there are ones just around where I live. So today I went to those and I found uh, Mary Knott's historical novel, Fire from Heaven. This is the story of the young Alexander the Great from his childhood to the age of 20 when he succeeded his murdered father, King Philip of Macedon. These were the years when he was torn between admiration, hatred, and love for his father when he asserted his independence from the jealous, devouring love of his mother, Queen Olympias, when he trained the horse of Bocapolis, it's a B-O-U-K-E-P-H-A-L-O-S, was tutored by Aristotle, fell in love with a young man, Hephaestonian, who was to play such an important, important role in his life. Mary Renat writes historical novels based on Greece of the 14th century. I had this, I didn't know that, but I had it in the hardback. And if I see any novel by her, I just buy it. She hasn't written that many. Um, I kind of have a lot of them. Recently, I picked up a biography of hers, but it's historical fiction. It takes place in ancient Greece. And I found this uh, in the Penguin Live series. I've mentioned these. I have the one on Jane Smiley I bought, her one on Charles Dickens. I wrote the one on Larry McMurphy, I think was on Sitting Bull. Nope, excuse me. Larry McMurphy wrote in Penguin Lives on Crazy Horse. Uh, I have Gary Wills on St. Augustine. I have, uh, what else I have here? So I, I collect these. I found this at a thrift store. This one's on President Wild, Wildrow Wilson by Louis Akerklaas. Uh This is on Wildrow Wilson. It's a little bi biography. Last year I bought this biography by A. Scott Berg on Wildrew Wilson. I haven't read this, but it's uh, 
I did read uh, Scott Berg's biography on Max Perkins, editor of Genius. I have his biography on Kate Remembered. Uh, can't remember her name, Kate. Some movie actress, I can't remember her name. Anyway, and I have his his biography on um, Charles Lindbergh, but he wrote this biography on President Wildrow Wilson. Uh, it got extraordinary praise. I got this for two dollars, I think. So I got that. So now I got I I got other books on Wildrow Wilson. But I got those. And I found today at a thrift store, Gabriel Garcia's Marquez, his stories, Strange Pilgrims. I already had this. I didn't know it. Now I got two copies. I'll probably take this to the library used bookstore Saturday. And I found this, The Lives of the Kings and Queens of England, edited by Antonia Fraser. These are the, uh, it's, I really like the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, what's the word, illustrations in here. Uh, I really like, this is on George the Fourth, from 1820 to 1830. So yeah, I have other books by Antonio. Fraser. I have this book by her, The Warrior Queens, The Legends and the Lives of the Women Who Have Led Their Nations to War by Antonio, Antoni, Anonia Fraser. I can't pronounce it. I also have this memoir written by her, Must You Go, My Life with Arnold Pinter. Pinter was a very famous British playwright. She was married to him and he died. Uh, I can't remember. He was a member of parliament. Uh, he died in 2008. So she wrote this little memoir, Antonio Fraser of her life with Arnold Pentner. She also wrote this book I have, The Wise of Henry VIII by Antonia Fraser. I don't have all her books. She wrote a book on Mary Queen of Scots, Cromwell, the Lord Protector, King James the, the Sixth and the First, The Lies and Kings of the Queens of England, Royal Charles the Second and the Restoration, The Weaker Vessels, the Warrior Queens. She also, I have this one by uh, Marie Antoinette about the journey by Antonio, Antonio Fraser. So if I see her books, I, I buy them. So I got those. So that's what I got today at thrift stores and Today I haven't really been reading anything. If I read anything, I was reading the, uh, as I see in my diary, I was reading the, the Lunar Men. I mentioned that in my last video. The Lunar Men, The Friends Who Made the Future by Gen Jenny R. Uglo. I really didn't read much today. I was kind of out of it. I just kind of like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the change of seasons. Maybe it's the change of the light in the mornings. I don't know. I'm just kind of out of it. I can't get into anything. So today I just kind of read a little bit of the Lunar Men. Wrote in my diary. I'm on page 710. So the day went by. I'm looking forward to the book sale Friday. I don't know why. I don't really need any books. I'm running out of space. But maybe I'll find something to add to my collection, to our library. 
So until next time, I'm hoping you're having a good week and thank you for the new subscribers and I enjoy all the comments and getting to know you guys. So bye.